Okay. Well, you're recording. I think it. this one's the same Ouch. thing. What's that? I think that's the same one. And then yeah, the yeah. duplicate. Yeah. Well, why don't you start this conversation off? Okay. <laughs> so we just wanted to apologize for not releasing our oxalic acid extend release research yet. Um, we're definitely feeling the pressure. Everybody. Um, wanting to hear what we have to say and we also have greg rogers that is doing a similar uh, almost exactly the same research that he's going to share too um, we've had a few different people reach out to us that want to get involved and so it's taking a little bit more time than we expected yeah this has been a little surprising <clears throat> we have some very serious people that have taken a keen interest in the work we've done and uh, we are being prompted to try to get this published in a scientific journal. So we've taken another step forward with this. We were just going to, and we already have been crunching numbers and creating charts that were going to be in the video in our presentation. And uh, but we've decided after talking to Lewis Bartlett and Jennifer Berry at the University of Georgia to allow them to take our field data, put it in their software, and uh, crunch the numbers also. And the idea is that if this is going to be published, it needs to be extremely precise. And I also think it's a good idea that if we have UGA's fingerprint on this, even if it, they're just helping us with the number um, compilation and all that, I think it might give it more of a legitimate flavor. Um, you know, there might be some people who just look at this as a bunch of hillbillies making a, their own crazy research study and I guess to some extent it actually is yeah. that I mean that's kind of how we are but we've done a really good job of, of collecting data and I think when it's been run through the software at UGA it's going to be looking pretty good and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do for this little short video is I'm actually going to show the charts that we're creating which are the questions we're addressing but I'm going to take the numbers out and then when we eventually in a couple of weeks get around to creating the real video that's going to come going to show all the data and stuff the charts will be filled they will be shared we're gonna have a chart for Greg Rogers work he's got a friend by the name of Scott that's got some data too he's been working with with Greg over there we're gonna show his data our data um, our data after it's been run through the lab at UGA um, Maybe yeah. even sit down with Lewis. Yeah, well, I'm going to get some advice from Lewis. Uh, you know, the way I'm creating charts may not be the proper kosher way. We'll see. I'll call Jennifer Berry, show him what we're doing, show her what we're doing, and see if she has any ideas on other questions we can address. This is a whole lot of questions we're addressing. We're addressing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different treatment methods. We are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different uh, uh, genetic lines, and we're cross-referencing all this. It's going, this data is going to show which lines did the best, which lines did the poorest, and it's going to be up to us to try to have a discussion on video explaining our thoughts on why some of the numbers occurred the way they did. Some of this is a surprise. Some of this is actually literally unexpected. And we're going to try to present it right. Hopefully we're going to have this done in, God, I said two, don't, two don't. weeks, a month ago. Yeah. I, I hesitate to say two weeks. I feel like we can have this in two weeks, but yeah. uh, it's coming pretty soon. Anyway, just wanted to address this because we are getting endless emails and comments and phone calls and stuff saying, uh, when's this stuff coming out? We need to look at it. Anything else? I, th I think that's it. We're okay. sorry. <laughs> so, if, so I'm just going to throw her under the bus. If it doesn't show up in two weeks, it's her fault, not mine. 